Hello, today I'm going to be teaching you two different ways to use AI for your Roblox game. Our first one here is called Astro Blocks. This will allow us to make thumbnails. So to access it, access it by using uh, your email here and joining waitlist. Or you can also join the Discord server here. And they'll give you access if you complete a few tasks, I believe. When you have access here, you can... When you have access, you'll get this screen here. And this is a bar similar to something in MID Journey or DALI 2 where you can just type anything and the AI will make it for you. Now the great feature about this is you can press choose mod. Now a mod is a pre-assigned design but yeah pretty much it's sort of anime thing. So if I want to make something similar I can say um, mod holding a sword in a desert with the sun setting okay now let's say i want that to be my thumbnail i can press setting here i can make it a thumbnail or icon for now i'm going to be making it my icon i can press remix and what it will do is it will create your very own custom thumbnail with absolutely no work and obviously these thumbnails look very professional um, very good but there is definitely room for improvement especially because it's a new feature all right, fantastic. Here we go. We have it finished. And as you can see, we get these brilliant looking thumbnails. Now, yeah, these are so cool. I want to go for this one here. Uh, yeah, uh, I want to go for this one, actually. I think this is a nice one. The sun setting in the desert. Now, a couple of cool features you can do is give me similar images, edit a region, or remove background. I want to edit this region because I think this face looks a bit weird. So if I go like this, what it will do is I can change. I make it smiling face. Face showing victory like this and then I'll press um, go and what I'll do it will change this face because obviously there's errors because it's AI and you know that's just how it is so let's see how we can create something interesting here okay here we go now that kind of looks terrifying <laughs> that one certainly is that's a bit weird that looks like a dog yeah this is this is questionable however it does a job perfectly fine and if you press publish it will publish it to uh, like the whole social network here or you can just save the image as and save it to your files which is fantastic perfect for whatever you want to do so our second way to use AI to make your Roblox games is of course getting AI to script for you now we're gonna be using the famous chat GDP for this because this is probably the best AI bot right now um, apparently the Bing one is better but that's some of those issues with um, bias and opinions and attacking the user so we're not gonna go into that but we're gonna use this and we're going to create a script so obviously you have to be quite specific so let's say create okay so this is what i've done now right now and hopefully this will create me a leaderboard script because as you see you can press on it um this might take a bit of time because obviously it's scripting so we go sure and as you can see it creates this first of all look at this it does it in lua and it is creating the script for us now this is so clever um roblox is actually having its own AI system building where you can make textures as well and that looks brilliant so yeah as soon as that releases I will certainly be covering a video over it okay so I've copied it and we're here in studio let's see how well this goes paste this in here uh, we can now press play okay so unfortunately if we press play as you can see it doesn't actually work so it's trying to get started GUI um, obviously this is the thing with AI makes mistakes so easy enough I think if you just get into the thing that's a start of GUI if you just place the these stats in the player that will actually work so now if you press play um, if I'm wrong then I'm really sorry but yeah there we go these stats works there we go we can now script successfully now this can also debug now if you have a problem in your code you can ask it to debug it and it will try its best obviously there's gonna be mistakes as we can see now but this is one of the best features in roblox and next up we have a built-in one so i'm looking forward to that thank you very much for watching this video i hope it helped and i'll see you in the next one